Hello and welcome to our very last marvellous maths lesson together. I'm a bit disappointed at you. I've really enjoyed this. Now today we're moving on to session 10. So who can remember what we learnt in the last session? Yes, we read and wrote number words, didn't we? We could read and write number words. Now we're going to play my favourite game, the magic circle game. Let's get these brains working. So if you want to pause it, so you've got a bit more time with the clues, you can do that. So here we go. Remember, there is a number hiding under this magic circle. I'm going to give you some clues and you have got to guess what the number is. You ready? The number under the circle has two digits. So it can't be zero to nine. It's a number higher than that. The number under the circle is more than 35. Oh, we know all about more than, don't we? The number under the circle is less than 45. So more than 35, less than 45. The number under the circle is an even number. That means the number at the end is even. Final clue. If you add the first digit to the second digit, you get the answer six. Now I'm gonna give you some thinking time. Pause your screen now and have a think. Hello, welcome back. Now, you ready to see the number under the circle? You ready? The number under the circle has two digits. Oh, I can see the top of two digits. The number under the circle is more than 35. Oh, it's a four. That's more than 35, isn't it? If your number starts with four and it's got two digits. The number under the circle is less than 45. Let's see what the last number is. <gasps> two. If you add the first digit to the second digit, you get the answer six. Four, add two equals six. What number is it? 42. Did you do it? Did you manage to find that missing number? Well done, good work. Right, today you are going to need your counting objects. So it's our last maths lesson together. And we're going to be thinking about some words that we will use and hear during maths. So all of the words we think about here, you will use lots in your maths lessons. Now we've already thought about some of the words. So let's see if you can recognise what we're thinking about. Now this is a different one, but you've probably learned about this in maths already. This first word is equal to, this first sentence is equal to. And this means that the numbers are of the same amount. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars. And here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine donuts. There are nine stars and nine donuts. That is the same amount of each object, isn't it? So in the middle here, I've got the equal sign. Now you'll have seen that in your addition and subtraction lessons. You put the equal sign before you put the answer, don't you? The equal sign means equal to, they are the same, they have the same amounts. Now we've thought about this word more when we're thinking about one more, but do you know you can have more than one more? So this term is more than. And this means that one amount has more than the other amount. So instead of it just being one more, this amount has more. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars. Nine stars has more stars than one, two, three, four, five, six stars. That's a less number, that's a more number. So nine is more than six. And here, is a more than symbol. Can you see? It's like a triangle on its side without its bottom. A more than symbol. And I always remember it because here there is a bigger gap for more to fit in and here there's a least gap. So I always remember it that way round. 
And the opposite of that is this symbol. Do you see the symbols are facing a different way? So this is a less than symbol. So less than means that one amount has less than the other amount. So six stars, one, two, three, four, five, six stars is less than nine stars. And here is a less than symbol. And again, the more than, the number that's got more has got the bigger gap. So six is less than nine. Now, can you remember what these symbols are called? What's this one? Equal to, well done, or equals. What's this symbol? More than, because look, you've got the gap this side, so it means you'd have the more, more amount there and less there. And this one? Less than, well done. Now, you're going to need to remember what that is. So here we go. Equals or equal to, more than. You might also hear that being called greater than. This one is less than, fewer than. Did you get them right? Oh, excellent, well done. Here is a little task. Now we're gonna work through this one together and then you're going to try one on your own. So you're going to try and remember what those symbols meant. If you need to flick back, rewind back, you can, because I don't mind that at all. So you ready? Seven. And what does this symbol mean? Seven is more than, is it more than nine? Is it more than six? Or is it more than seven? What do you think? Okay, so you think seven is more than six. Now, six is less than. What number do you think goes there? Is six less than nine? Oh, it is, isn't it? Is six less than six? No, it's equal to six, isn't it? Is six less than seven? Yes, oh, so it could be either of those, couldn't it? It could be seven or nine. I wonder what we're going to need for this next one, and that might give us a clue for what the answer is here. So nine is equal to, is it equal to seven, six or nine? Yes, it's equal to nine, isn't it? So what must go here? Yes, the number, oh, not the number eight, the number seven. Although the number eight would work too because six is less than eight, isn't it? But that's not here. Now I'm going to give you a task to try by yourself. Again, you can go back and rewind to the which, rewind to the which symbol page to remind yourself of what these things mean. That's fine. So are you ready? Pause and have a go. Hello, welcome back. Did you manage it? Could you do it? Let's see if you were right. So, did you choose a number that it could be? So four is more than three. You could have had two or one there as well, couldn't you, or zero. Eight, is less than nine well done or you could have had 10 or 11 or 12 any number that is more than eight you could have had and then five is equal to five how many did you get right well done now you can practice this at home you can write your symbols on a piece of paper and keep choosing numbers that can go in front or at the end and see if you're right if you want to use your counting objects to help you then you will find if you have got the number four and you put four counting objects down and then you've got a number three and choose which symbol, you'll see if you've got a pile that's bigger or smaller, more or less, greater or fewer. Now that's it, that's it. That's all 10 lessons now of Miss Anderson's Marvellous Maths. I really enjoyed making these videos for you and I've, I really hope you found them helpful. And remember, you can watch them whenever you like. You don't need to watch them just once. If you're struggling with something or you think you need a bit more practice or you just fancy playing a maths game, then you can choose any of my games. You can look at any of the activities, any of the tasks. Make sure you super count. Make sure you're always trying your best. And remember, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake as long as you're trying your best. Well done. I'm really proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. And it's been really lovely being your online teacher. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Goodbye.